You can optionally synchronize the Pro Tempest Trust accounting with your Trust account in QuickBooks and the Pro Tempest Accounts Receivables subsystem with your Operations account in QuickBooks. For this video we will start with a fresh QuickBooks. Both bank accounts have a zero balance, as you can see on the QuickBooks bank balances. This makes it easier to demonstrate how Pro Tempest synchronizes with QuickBooks. We have also not received any payments into Pro Tempest. We have created invoices using the demonstration data. First we will demonstrate receiving a deposit from John Decker. Let us assume John Decker writes a check for $3,000. This check is to be applied to pay off his $1,500 bill for the bankruptcy and the remaining $1,500 will be applied to the DUI and divorce, as we work the cases. To post the $3,000 deposit into John's account, select John into the contact window. Click on the Activity Payments button. Next click on the Enter Payment button. You can see John has two outstanding invoices to be paid. Notice this window provides two options for the second step you can apply the check as a payment to one or more invoices or you can post it as a deposit. Enter the $3,000 into the Amount field. When we press the tab key to enter the client's check number, you can see the invoice number edit box and auto select button have disappeared. This is because the check amount exceeds the total of the outstanding invoices. You can only deposit a check into one bank account. In this case Pro Tempest will force us to handle the check as a deposit. You do have the option of depositing it into your trust account or your operations account. Please refer to your State Bar Association's rules on handling client deposits. Some states require all upfront money be deposited into trust accounts and drawn as the case progresses. Other states allow you to deposit non-refundable deposits directly into your operations account. Pro Tempest provides the flexibility to handle both scenarios. Here we will select the trust account and click on the deposit button. Then click on Done. You can see Pro Tempest now shows that John has $3,000 in his deposit account. Later we will show you how to pay the current invoices from this deposit. First we will demonstrate how to post this deposit into your QuickBooks Trust account. Click on Done and Save. To synchronize this into QuickBooks, we will click on the miscellaneous button on the toolbar. Click on the QuickBooks Sync button. Only one person on your staff will have this button on their Pro Tempest. The QuickBooks interface is limited to the designated bookkeeper. You can see the second button down shows there is one deposit for $3,000 pending. Clicking on this button, Pro Tempest will create a PDF showing the details of the deposit. These log files allow you to verify each transaction is correct prior to posting them into QuickBooks. They should be printed and filed to provide a hard copy audit trail. Click on Yes if the transactions are correct. Pro Tempest will add John Decker as a client into QuickBooks. It then posts the $3,000 into the trust account. Each time you post into QuickBooks, Pro Tempest will display the beginning balance of the affected bank account, the total being posted and the ending balance. If these numbers do not add up correctly, Pro Tempest will generate an error message, notifying you that there was a problem. Here everything is correct, so we will click on OK. Clicking on the title bar of this window will refresh the window and you will notice no further transactions are pending. Looking at QuickBooks, you can see the trust account now has a balance of $3,000. You will notice that Pro Tempest has created a sub account for John Decker. Double click on John Decker and you can see the details of the deposit. Pro Tempest creates separate sub accounts for all clients with activity against the trust account. This makes it very easy to know each client's balance in QuickBooks at a glance. The next video will demonstrate paying invoices with money from your trust account.